if you don't follow me on social media, you might not know that I accidentally got myself stranded in Paris a, like a week or two ago, um, which I realize is not something I really have the right to complain about because like who doesn't want to be stranded in Paris? But actually when you don't speak French, it's quite scary. So have at least a little bit of pity on me, maybe? Hopefully, well, probably not. As I was walking around some of the like really I, don't, I can't even describe them. Like, I was blown away at how beautiful the city was, but I was also blown away at how much better everything was designed. I saw this display in a, in a storefront. It kind of looked like wooden skeleton lamp frames, but then filled in with yarn, and I loved that idea. And it was nighttime, and I was cold, and in my stupidity, I did not take a picture of it. So I actually can't. I would love to put the picture of like what I saw here and then be like, this is what I made. Um, but I stored it away in my brain, and when I got back here to the States, I thought I would try building it. My apartment is really dim anyway, so I'm not going to say no to extra lamps, huh? You're really dim. I'm not really dim. Get out of here, Andrew. The basic anatomy of this is that I want to make pendant lamps so that I don't have to make a base. <laughs> And then the yarn wraps kind of just like a shoelace, not even a shoelace, it just... Wow, it's been so long since I had shoes with shoelaces, I don't even remember how... No, it's not like a shoelace. <laughs> Step one was just to draw out what I wanted the lamp to look like. I took this and I just set it here and then I started working on Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in a video on how to like build something in Illustrator, let me know, but that is out of the scope of this tutorial. But also, I'm gonna leave the files in the description below, so you're welcome to just grab my files and make this with significantly more ease, because making the files is the hard part. <laughs> so we're gonna get straight to the laser cutting portion. Alrighty, I just got back from the laser cutter and Warning, our laser cutters so badly need maintenance that it took me like three or four tries just to have it cut all the way through. So I'm in less good of a mood now and I also was distracted and I cut a previous version, which is fine. Um, it just means that the tolerancing on these is a little bit off. Um, so I decided to hot glue it instead of epoxy it. <laughs> oh my God. Ah! Hey, I cut all of them. Impressed. I'm incredibly impressed. Um, this is the yarn that Andrew just des decided to throw at me because apparently that's what we're doing now. No one mourns the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> now that my hot glue gun is warmed up, I'm gonna just take each of these and put glue on the bottoms of them. You know, I want to sing a song. Well, you, two minutes ago. And the fact that there's like extra glue lying around doesn't bother me because it's all gonna be covered up in the end. Anyway, and now just make sure we'll fit. Now I just need to do pretty much the exact same thing on the top. Make sure it's nice and straight. Put my hot glue. I'm so obsessed with the strip. Skimming surface! That's not even the lyric, is it? Yours? That fits, which is better than the rest of today is going. All right, now here is the truly awful, I'm avoiding expletives because YouTube doesn't like it, but shitty part, stringing it. And if you may recall, I made the decision at the beginning to do holes instead of ridges because I like the way it looks. And in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna sorely regret that. Because they're holes and not ridges, they have to actually get threaded instead of wrapped around. So I'm gonna do this in sections. So like each quarter section has, I believe, 25 holes, but I'm gonna count so that I don't hate myself later. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 16, 17, 18, 23, 24, 25, 20, 25, 26. So roughly 25 or 26. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna grant it each, my forearm per loop. So now I have to cut, pre-cut the length of string. This is, I don't ever work with yarn, so this will be. All right, one, five, six. Ah! Oops. 
I'm gonna take both ends and tape them. Roll it as tightly as you can, and, and then once you get this kind of point, this is when the fun begins. So now you wanna pick the halfway point of one of your quarter sections and then pull half of the length of yarn through. Unfortunately, our camera shut off without us noticing while we explained the first quarter, so I'm gonna show you on the second quarter because luckily it is the exact same process four times. So the easiest way to get to the halfway point of the yarn is to make 10 forearm loops, then stop, mark it, and make another 10. This is a fairly cinematic way. So when you do the second one, make sure you're counting from the end so you know that you're actually, you're gonna get them right and you're not gonna misalign them. I basically just counted like 12 from here, 12 from here, and then threaded it. To get this really full thread, you wanna make sure on the top you're going over and then down through the hole, and then on the bottom you're going under and up through the hole. Then you just settle in and go, go, go. I know this looks like it takes forever, but when I did the other two at home, it only took me about 45 minutes each and I was watching a movie and drinking wine. So, you know, not terrible. shit we made it now I have all these ends and I need to figure out what to do with them if you did it right they should end up on opposite sides like this um, so like you can imagine if they were one string they would just keep going and it would continue the pattern and remember this is a pendant lamp so we're mostly looking at it from the bottom so we're actually gonna hire the mistakes at the top rather than the bottom that you're gonna take the the bottom one and come up and do it as if you were going to loop it through but instead of going forward you're going to go under and go there we go i'm going to take this and tie like whatever this knot is square knot um so i did that but then because i don't trust my knot tying abilities i'm going to hit it with a little bit of super glue i'm just pushing the nozzle up against the knot and then like gently squishing enough super glue to just kind of infuse itself through the knot. Hit it from both sides. So you can see I've got my like super glued knot. So that's if you did it correctly. Chances are you screwed up somewhere, or at least if you're me, you screwed up somewhere. So I ended up with two sides that looked like this where they're both on the same end and that just means that I was off by one you know when you like button your shirt and it's wrong? I did that. So if you have this on one of them, you'll have it on another one on the other side. I'm gonna take this and do pretty much the exact same thing with the knotting. I'm gonna knot this and then do my four on the other side. For the bottom, the low one here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And don't touch the super glue like I just did because it'll get on your fingers and then you can glue your fingers together and that would suck. And if you do glue your fingers together, as many of you know, nail polish remover will help you out. Um, just don't glue yourself to a table or to a bathtub or like something where you couldn't go get nail polish remover. Now, while this is drying, this is the cord that I bought. I bought a pack of five of these on Amazon. Um, they weren't particularly expensive. It was white or black and I hate black, so I went with white. But I do wanna dress it up just a little bit. This is, this is the really Pinterest part of this project if that wasn't enough for you. Um, I'm gonna take off this part. And then I'm gonna peel these stickers off like the caution. Here, I'll read it to you so I don't get in trouble for telling you to peel it off. Caution, to reduce the risk of fire, use max 70 watt type A lamp. And then it says it in Spanish. So there you go. It's recorded permanently into your mind. So I'm gonna put like a little dab of super glue and then just go like that. Uh, I'm actually gonna take another now that it's in place, I'm gonna put a bit there and use the nozzle to push it in, just like that. Now I'm gonna just run a line of glue up this and start winding. So at this point you can decide if you want to do the cord or just leave it. I'm like having second thoughts about even wrapping it. But it was like ugly to start with and I wanted to continue that color. So 
so I guess there's a couple ways to wrap the cord. I could like wrap it kind of loosely. Actually, that kind of adds to the pizzazz. If you, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it and start by wrapping it tightly and then slowly start spacing it out. Figure out where you want the cord, then super, like then dab the super glue. Instead of dabbing the super glue first, it's a little easier. So that's like roughly what I'm going for. So I'm just gonna hit each one of those, blop. Just cut it off right there. Um, and then just to clean up this edge, I'm just gonna super glue that entire end. Now I'm gonna jump back to the lamp, main lamp and all of these glues are totally dry. So I'm just gonna snip them as close as I possibly can and then tuck each knot back as far as possible and then kind of like scatter this in front of the knot. And that's all of them. All right, so now I'm gonna put this in here and get myself a light bulb. All right, so this is the only light bulb I could find, um, but I would use like a prettier one. And we're done. I am so pumped at how this came out. This is like all my Parisian dreams come true. I was actually not expecting it to really work. So yes, yeah, surprise yourself every day. I'm gonna make two more with these colors because I think they would all look really pretty together. And I'll show you the final result as well. You don't have laser cutters, but you love the lamp. Um, and you like are interested in having this as a kit on our website, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, the Illustrator files to make this uh, are down in the description. If you, if you liked this, if you enjoyed our video, if you enjoyed our ramblings, please like this video and subscribe. It means so much to us and it really helps us out um, making and funding videos in the future. So, uh, yeah, ending videos is still not my strong suit.